Okay, I did tell you guys that in 320 videos that the completing the square process was going to come back to us when we came to the circle topics in college algebra. And sure enough, we've already hit our first one. So it says, identify the center and the radius to the graph of the equation in general form. So your x squared terms first, your y squared terms, your x's, your y's, and then your constants equal to zero is your general form. However, from the previous example, we only know how to identify the center and the radius if it's in standard form, just this form. And there could be a coefficient out there, I should mention that. Actually, no, you cannot have a coefficient here. That's important. If you have coefficients there, it becomes a different shape, which we'll probably see eventually in um, this material. Okay. So in order for me to do this, in order for me to get it into a perfect squared format, I have to complete the square. Same thing goes for the y values. So the first thing we do is we group the x together, then we group the y's together, and this 9, we're actually going to subtract it over to the other side to get it out of the way, okay? So then now what we're going to do is we're basically going to split the problem into two parts, and we're going to complete the square on both sides. So in order for me to complete the square here, I have to take negative negative 6 over 2 and square it, which gives me positive 6 over 2, which is equivalent to positive 3 squared. Positive 3 squared is a positive 9, but whatever I add to this side of the equal sign, I also have to add to the other side of the equal sign. Now, same thing goes over here. y squared minus 4y. I'm going to have to, I should put this in red, and put this in red. Now here I'm going to do the work, so we have to do negative, negative 4 over 2, oh, I'm not sure why I'm putting the negative, it's just b over 2 squared. So this should actually be negative 3 squared, which does still come out to be a positive 9. So I add 9 on both sides of my equation. Here I'm going to take a negative 4 over 2 and square it, which gives me a negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4, so I have to add 4 to this side as well. Now that I have this format, if I factor this, like x squared, or I'm sorry, x minus 3 and x minus 3. Here I have y minus 2 and y minus 2. So, and on the right hand side, and don't forget to keep your plus signs there in the middle, those will cancel and I'll just get 4. I can rewrite this as x minus 3 squared plus sign y minus 2 squared equal to 4. So visually you separate it into two completing the square problems. But just remember that you do have to add these numbers on both sides of the equation, okay? So then once I have it like this, I can identify my center. Opposite sign for x is positive 3. Opposite sign for y is positive 2. And my radius is, this is radius squared, so my radius is 2. Because 2 squared is 4. We'll do the same thing with this one. So we're going to rearrange... And notice at this time there's no y's, so it's just y squared all by itself. And the 5 is already on the other side. So if there's no y's here, I don't need to complete my square. I can just write that as y minus 0 squared. Remember, no other y's means my, my coordinate there is going to be 0. Here, though, I do have to square it. So half of b, negative 6 over 2 squared is going to be negative 3 squared, which is equal to 9. So I'm going to add 9 to this side, add 9 to that side. I get x minus 3 times x minus 3. This will become 4. x minus 3 squared, y minus 0 squared, equal to 4. 
So my center here is going to be positive three, zero, and my radius here is again going to be two. Two squared equals four. Now, the next topic is a little bit more complicated, okay? But we do have to work it out just the same. So the first thing that I notice is that there's a two in front, and remember what I mentioned, for the circle in standard form, there cannot be a coefficient. So since I have a two here, I'm gonna need to divide every single term by that two. So that I end up with x squared plus y squared plus six y plus five equal to zero. This term should not be on this side. And I don't have any x terms, just gonna scoot over and leave the x squared by itself. y squared plus six y here, scoot over so I can complete the square. And I have negative five now on this side. So x squared, again, we do not have to complete the square there because there's no x term. But here, let's see what we have. We get positive six over two squared, which is positive three squared, which is nine. So I'm gonna have to add nine to both sides which gives me y plus three, y plus three equal to four, or y plus three squared equal to four. So my center here, if there's no other x's in parentheses there is zero. Here the opposite is negative three, and my radius is going to be two since two squared is equivalent to four. Let's see the next example. So here we have to do the same thing. Again, we have a number in front, so we need to divide everybody by four. So we get x squared plus four y squared, oops, nope, the four will cancel, so just y squared, plus four x minus two y minus, let's see, 101 divided by four is minus 25.25, and zero divided by four is zero. This term needs to move to the other side, and I'm going to need to regroup everything. So we're gonna have x squared and four x, my big plus sign, y squared minus two y, some space, and positive 25.25. So here I'm going to do four over two squared, which is two squared, which is four. So add four and add four. Here I'm going to take negative two over two squared, which is negative one squared, which is one. So add one and add one. On the left hand side, this will factor into x plus two, x plus two, plus sign. This will factor into y minus one, y minus one, and 25.25 plus four plus one is equal to 30.25. So I get x plus two squared, y minus one squared equal to 30.25. So my center is relatively easy to point out. It's gonna be opposite negative two, opposite positive one. The radius is gonna be a little bit more difficult to figure out. So I know that r squared is 30.25 but to figure out what r is, I need to take the square root of 30.25. And remember, we only need the positive version because this is a distance. So I get 5.5. So now I know my radius is 5.5. Or if the computer insists that you write it as a fraction, use your double arrow to convert it to a fraction, and that 5 halves is the same thing as 11 over 2. That's the end of module two. We'll continue with module twenty or module twenty-two. We'll continue with module twenty-three in the next video.